I welcome all of you to today's session on starting an internet venture. I am sure all of you will have a lot of questions, thoughts, queries, views to share internet, e-commerce and related technology ventures are booming in the country and with the advent of these opportunities all of us as aspiring entrepreneurs as students as professionals can make a difference in our as well as our customers life so let us try to understand what the basics of starting an internet venture are let me introduce nurture talent is India's first institute for training of entrepreneurs. We have conducted 119 workshops related to business plan, marketing, finance, idea to execution in 35 cities including online and mobile conferences and over 4,115 people have attended these programs. I I am personally an IIT Delhi and info, uh, I am Indore alumni and I have worked with Infosys, Asian Paints and Onida before starting Nurture Talent Academy. So with that brief introduction, I would like to quickly start the session. All of you are right now on mute mode. You have any questions, you can type in in the chat window and I will be happy to take them one by one. During the first 20 to 25 minutes we will have a short discussion on the agenda points as you can see what why when where who how of starting a internet venture and after that I will discuss for 5-10 minutes a couple of case studies of people who have started their ventures and what their companies do we will follow that up with question and answer sessions. So let us get directly to the basics of starting. It's very important to understand what you are doing. If you are planning to start, what are you building? Is it a business to customer? You have, must have heard about a lot of these terms B2C, B2B or C2C. Is it business to customer? Your company is selling to your customers or you are selling to other companies. They are your customers, B2B, business to business. Or is it a consumer to consumer, a C2C, something like an eBay. So let us understand, you could start with an e-commerce venture which is purely electronic commerce. You are selling products or services. For example, a Flipkart is doing it. You could do it by selling information for example in India Mart which is a B2B website there are a lot of sellers and there are a lot of buyers who share information about each other you could be in the middle like a platform a broker a network or an exchange for example eBay is one of the largest connection between a buyer and a seller it is more of a C2C kind of a business model. If you have your own products like a Ferns and Petals does, you could be a manufacturer and your website could be like a shop for you, a retail outlet for you to sell your products to consumers. There are other various business models possible on internet like a community or a user generated content Facebook and Wikipedia are some of the largest examples in India there are few websites like mouthshut.com etc which are focused on user generated content where the customer himself interacts on the website puts in the comment videos photographs and the content gets generated over a period of time If you want to start something which is an enabler or like a support service that could also be possible. You could design your own shopping cart or a mechanism for people to 
check out the products it could be image comparison of products a price comparison engine a payment gateway or a support services like you have CC Avenue which helps you to make payments and collect payments there are new ventures which have started which are on the cash on delivery model which is the offline component for example gharpay.in is there which helps you collect payments from customers for the products that are bought and sold online you could also start a subscription based service or a product for example nokri.com which is a very very popular website run by a company called InfoEdge which is a listed company I'm sure a lot of us may have used to browse for jobs or submit resumes or look for candidates for our own companies using Nokri's subscription based model so there are as I explained the what what are you doing what are you building that is the question you need to answer for your business venture so let me revise it could be a B2C business to consumer a B2B business to business or a C2C consumer to consumer based business model so let us try to now understand the why of starting a business as we see internet there are tremendous possibilities but we should always focus on the basics the reason why we do business is for the consumers are we solving any customer problems like a IRCTC for example it is saving time for the customers like a snap deal which is offering great discounts to customers and it is in a way saving money or we are just providing information by giving the right kind of awareness or knowledge about the products and services that the customer needs for example just dial.com even Google which is a search engine is providing information which can in some ways save time in some ways it can save money and in some ways it can just solve a problem without saving any time or money but it is giving some convenience to customers if you are a business owner you are having your own manufacturing or products or you are offering something then a website can also be used for existing products or services to increase awareness so your internet venture would not be actually selling or transactional mode would not be there but it can help you generate leads for your business you could also plan your mobile strategy because nowadays internet is being accessed a lot using the mobile browsing whether it is through opera browsers or through blackberry or vodafone live etc on your mobile itself a huge number of visits and transactions are happening and this is a new space which is now in the realm of mobile commerce so try to understand whatever you are offering why you are getting on to the internet it is is it that your existing products you are trying to sell using internet is it that you are trying to create a new product or service and that would help you define how you want to pursue the next steps of your business which would mean the when part of it technology has made things available so you have to understand for example if you have an offline shop that cannot be open 24 hours but your website can keep working for 24 hours nurturetalent.com for example we don't use for transactions on the website it is an informational website about the business that nurture talent does and the programs that we regularly conduct 
whether it is offline workshops, a workshop in a college, the information can be accessed online. And that information is accessible 24 hours all throughout the world. From a when point of view, you have to understand the complexities related to your business. How much time will it take for you to launch? Typically, it takes some time for you to develop a website, stabilize the website and populate it with the information and products required. I will discuss this <coughs> Sorry, when I take up the case studies. But for now, you have to understand that the timing is crucial both for developing as well as further promoting the website. You also need to clarify to your customers whether the support is available 24 by 7 or not or is it during office hours. These are some of the things that can give a great impression to your customers about what you are offering to them. The where part of it, as I just told you about Nurture Talent, we conduct our workshops online as well as offline. But our online presence, the information sharing is mostly digital. You also need to answer where you will host your website or your servers for any internet related venture needs a hosting space. It could be a shared, it could be on the cloud, it could be a managed hosting or a co-location. You could use your own servers or you could use the servers of some other external parties. You also need to give a name to your website it could be your own name, your own hosting space or it could be a sub account like a amit.indiadimes.com or amit.google.com or amit.wordpress.com. So there are various websites which give you a micro domain or a mini domain free of charge as well as in a paid model. You also need to understand what would be your offline presence like I told you the example of Nurture Talent. De delivery model if you are starting an e-commerce venture and you are having your own products or some other company's products you are procuring then you need to take a call on your delivery model. If it is a virtual good like a hotel inventory or a airline ticket or a train ticket like a make my trip sells a train ticket or a airline ticket then in that case it can be a virtual good. You don't need to give anything in physical. The transaction can happen online and the delivery can also happen online. So for example if you book a train ticket using IRCTC or a make my trip then the delivery is via email. However, if it is a real good, for example, if you are selling a book or a product, then in that case, you need to make courier uh, delivery, you need to get a confirmation from the customer. So in that case, you also need to understand inventory management, warehousing practices, etc. and how much time it will take to supply the goods to the customer. Where it will happen, you need to get the information from the customer what the address is, nearest location, tying up with the courier agencies. So some of the delivery models if you can define for one customer that will give you a very very good idea about end to end where you are procuring the product, how the transaction happens, how the delivery happens, how you are making collection of money from the customer whether it is online or offline payment and then you can further proceed to define the process for your business venture. One of the important queries that have come up from the audience is what is cloud computing and how it is relevant for a startup. So cloud computing is in a way where you don't pay for any hosting space but on a per use basis not on a monthly or a annual model but on every transaction you need to make a payment. For example, we have 
a generator in our house okay so either we can buy the generator by uh, paying 50000 rupees and whatever uh, use we have for the generator we have to uh, get the benefits out of it okay and the other thing is we have a electronic meter in all our houses where we pay only for the electricity on a use basis if we don't switch on the switch the light is not used we don't have to pay for any electricity so hosting is in that way different from cloud computing so where in cloud computing you pay only for the transactions that happen so if somebody is using 1 gb of the space for all the transactions uh, you have to pay only up to 1 gb uh, that is a very very high amount of space to be used for a normal website but just as an instance i am giving you okay so uh, one transaction happens a customer comes downloads a video from your website of 1 gb and you can have your own uh, at the back end there are various services which are cloud providers for example google intel amazon uh, microsoft has got a windows azure platform for cloud computing and you can host your applications on the cloud and pay on a per use basis so every time somebody uses that application to do a transaction makes your payment you have to give some amount of that payment to the microsoft windows azure platform on a per compute basis there are various other links if you want i can share with you on cloud management i'll be happy to share more details so let us move from the where part of it to the who part of it for any internet or a technology related venture you have to understand the two capabilities that are required one is the create part and the other is to sell part so any website that you are making any e-commerce or a information website you are making you know, first need to create the technology the solution the services that are required to fetch to the customer and then the second important part is the selling part you are not here to create things you are here to finally create and sell them to customers satisfy their information <coughs> or product needs so technology and marketing are equally important uh, it is not only that you need to uh, say i made a great website that is uh, work done that is half the work done you also need to populate the website with photos and the data and information about the products make it in a sorted way people can actually look at it for example imagine visiting a web uh, retail store something like a shopping mall where all the shoes are kept in one uh, heap of a place or imagine going to big bazaar and uh, it is not marked on a aisle basis and you don't know how to discover where is lux kept and where is surf surf excel kept so in the similar way on the website also you need to understand the customers profile how they are visiting how they will discover the products that you are keeping on display uh, you need to have a search engine uh, the vendor agreements what pricing will be there the needs to be a good amount of talent in your team so that you can negotiate well with the suppliers if you are selling a product or a service and if you are highly consumer oriented uh, website or consumer oriented internet venture then you also need to have a good design user interface usability database and the network administration so you don't want example facebook had some problem few days back where people could not access so if there is any problem with the server then the customers feel that the website is not able to provide them the real experience so they start doing a mass uh, blockade and mass outage from the website or the internet business and then the business suffers and gets a bad word of mouth publicity you could also think about what are the support related issues in your business for example is there a help desk you can provide to customers Uh, or share your contact with the customers so you must be wondering by now we have looked at few aspects of starting a business uh, in the website or internet related ventures now let us look at how you can do this and how much does it cost so uh, 
depending on what kind of business you want to start and if you have got a good business plan and consumer research and market analysis competition analysis done the next steps could be choosing a website name uh, it could be as complex if uh, something related to cricket or business or sports something these websites could be very costly it could be million dollars uh, for every website domain but a basic website name you can buy for ten dollars approximately 500 rupees a uh, lot of coupons and packages keep coming uh, to get your free domain name or a free website name. Uh, there are some websites, for example, godaddy.com is there, Network Solutions is there, which you can buy the domain name in. Uh, then you can go for a hosting package. The basic packages can start from uh, 500 rupees as well. It can go up to even 5 lakh or 50 lakhs depending on the traffic that you are generating. For a normal website which has got about maybe uh, 50, 60,000 uh, page views a month or maybe 10,000 to a lakh unique visitors in a month and the traffic is very, very uniform and not very consumer, uh, too many consumer visits are not happening, then you can go for a, a simple uh, package. Uh, for hosting it could be a shared uh, hosting space uh, uh, where you could go for a 500 rupees 10 dollar a year or 20 dollar a year kind of a package uh, you, you can then take a call on whether it is uh, open source technologies you are going to use like Linux uh, Apache servers etc uh, LAMP technology or it could be Microsoft uh, based technologies uh, uh, <coughs> for uh, doing the front end uh, how your front end will look, the middle end, the components and the applications and the back end, the database or the network servers which will be there. Uh, based on those technologies, you could also take the next steps and then start the development. Uh, if you have in-house uh, manpower and capability to develop your own applications and uh, integrate them, uh, then you can do that on your own, uh, otherwise it can be outsourced. If you are planning to outsource uh, application development and internet uh, development, uh, then you need to have a very very good uh, uh, SLA in place, service level agreement so that you don't face delays and also you need to be very good and very tight in project management. <coughs> the next stage could be followed by a beta prototyping and customer feedback where you uh, put the website in open for customers to give their feedback you could start with your friends family and references and generate leads maybe through social media and Facebook marketing and uh, start getting a feedback uh, and keep improving the design usability product sortment uh, see what transactions are happening how many visits are happening every day what kind of conversions are happening what categories are visited what pages are visited you can use Google Analytics uh, for uh, doing those uh, analysis and understand the profile of customers who are coming to you. Uh, the next step which maybe uh, you can look forward to is a public launch where you say you are going public with whatever you have created you want to showcase it to the consumers uh, and uh, this is the step where you have to be very very clever about because internet uh, you can create a first impression in a good way but uh, very very tough for people if they don't like your website if they don't like uh, your products uh, your offering then they would not come back again and again so try to create as much uh, trust as possible uh, get the first set of customers improve your processes and products and then go for a public launch which could happen three months or six months after your uh, first level of uh, transactions have taken place there are various ways for marketing and depending on the type of business it could be online and offline or a combination of both uh, it could be through online PR mailers newsletters SEO social media blogging YouTube so a uh, lot of these details can be covered but I'll uh, skip on these and let us go to the case studies of some of the companies I'll just try to highlight what are the things that these people have done okay so for example flipkart.com if you can see on the screen uh, they have got a very very good way in which they have categorized uh, which category of products are available you just keep your mouse over the uh, screen and you will be able to see what are the things that are coming up okay the photograph of what the 
product they are selling i have seen lot of websites uh, for example if you want a customer to take action then put all that possibility on the home page itself so that people don't have to worry about clicking again and again to go to that action point okay if people have come to your website they should be able to do something okay so if it is a transaction website e commerce you are selling products then you need to put those products on the home page itself in the best way possible you can see they have got a 24 by 7 customer support the phone number of the people is given on the website itself so that people can quickly check and this also creates trust among the customers okay uh, you can see at the bottom there are policies of the company which are defined which is the terms of use security privacy all these points always create some trust in the customers that this company is there to help them you can see safe and secure shopping is there they have put very very cleverly these points there so that people get trust that they are dealing with a very very good company it is a virtual company which they cannot see but it can give you all the confidence that you require so that you can buy from them replacement guarantee this is something that is very very important from your side if you are going to approach customers then they should have the confidence in coming to you so as we see uh, usability action consumer orientation these are some of the key for not only internet businesses but otherwise as well let us look at exigo.com okay so exigo.com is a company that allows you to as it says it india's number one travel search engine recently they sold off uh, a majority stake in their company to make my trip for almost 100 crores uh, make my trip and sav partners uh, so you can see you search for something let us say ranchi to mumbai and you give the dates in a very very fast way they can give you uh, the examples if you click search flights and you can the speed of getting the information is so quick that within a second you are able to see uh, ranchi to bombay in a sorted manner 6534 so if i have to look for this information i could click which are the ones where i have to go from let us say only 4 o'clock and after that so after 4 o'clock there is a flight at 720 if i want to say Uh, i'm okay with the time but i will pay only from 9800 to 12100 that is my budget so i can see that there is something which is available for 10000 so exigo.com has made all these things which are so very very cleverly useful for the customer if i want to see which dates and what is the graph of events happening so i can see okay if i travel on the 8th of november then i get the 3500 rupees as a price the maximum that price is there is on 30 october that is 11000 so i can see from this graph what are the best dates if i am flexible on travel what are the best dates i should travel upon on the right hand side you can see same search on yatra expedia make my trip via so these are the ways in which they are trying to monetize it and once i click on let us say jetlight then this new website opens it will take me to the jetlight jetlight flight and exigo will get the money from the jetlight as a company if i book this ticket using the jetlight platform okay so you can see ola one of the ad is there this is advertising based revenue model so exigo earns from advertising as well as lead generation so i gave you the example of flipkart uh, which is into product sales i gave you the example of exigo.com which is into lead generation and advertising now let us look at meraevents.com so for example meraevents is a website and again as i give you example for sales if anybody wants Uh, to host their events they can do so on meraevents.com meraevents.com is a website for putting across all your events and other people can search for those events using this website and they can also buy the ticket of the events that they want to attend so if for example you want to host your event on 
mira events and online ticketing you want to do then you can call up their sales this is the number if you want to support you are already having some issues you want to call up their number the support is also available you can get gmail updates events by city so you can sort which city what events are happening right on the bottom of the page uh, sorry right on the top of the page uh, you can see there is a flash coming up of all the events that are happening so this because you are selling events you are selling the tickets of the events so you have to highlight those things at the top page itself okay so let us say there is a third annual mobile wear summit okay so if i click on the mobile wear summit i can get all the details when it is happening november 11 where it is happening this is the address new delhi ncr shangri la hotel and if i want to say buy one ticket i can register by making the payment okay so i don't want to give my details i don't want to lose 5500 uh, so this is just an example which i wanted to share with all of you about this website uh, so these are some of the case studies uh, which i wanted to share with you of how people have started their companies uh, build some of the products using open source as well as uh, proprietary technologies and started marketing them and every website has got certain of its value i'll also show you an example of a very very uh, uh, good way of marketing for example you can see on the screen sorry so this is my uh, facebook page uh, uh, exigo.com if you search for exigo you will find that they have got a contest running this is an example of very very intelligent social media marketing right now you must have heard about india hosting the formula 1 races so everybody is going crazy for getting a formula 1 tickets so you can see need for speed they have started a contest nfs is as you know it's a very popular uh, uh, online as well as a pc based game so they have named their contest nfs need for speed and they are putting their logo right in the home page of the facebook uh, community that they have they have got 121781 likes 2216 people talking about this and they keep running their certain contest quiz you make it simple for your users your people your community your followers to engage with your brand they are related to travel so booking of flights booking of travel tickets booking of train tickets hotel car taxi autos anything you want to book you can book using exigo.com so they want to run contests which are related to travel so for example they will put up a uh, contests and say find out what photograph is this so if you can identify then you get some prize so by doing this for example you can see there is another image which is uh, i think the louvre museum in paris uh, so they have put all these things and people comment and they then dole out the prizes for this okay so you can see there are a lot of people who are putting their comments so you can keep your audience engaged all across and for example here in this case they are saying smooth seas do not make skillful sailors so this is a exe code so they have branded most of their activities like exe code exe quiz etc i could also show you the star preneur page of nurture talent uh, we also have okay so if you search for star preneur so for example right now we have tied up with the iit khadakpur for running their entrepreneurship awareness drive and in partnership with iit khadakpur we were conducting uh, business plan workshops all across the country we did this thing with uh, iit bombay in september and we are planning to do the uh, drive on entrepreneurship and business plan in uh, november with iit delhi which will be announced soon so you are the first audience who has come to know about this so in our entrepreneurship related uh, social media marketing we are keep running contest and quizzes for example identify the entrepreneur and his startup so we put a photograph of an entrepreneur and look for examples and answers from the audience members 
so uh, with this i would like to thank all of you you can join us on the starpreneur community uh, <clears throat> so any questions if you have feel free uh, to address me I, if you want to raise your hand uh, i can unmute you and you can ask me any question raja selvam i have unmuted you you want to speak your question okay uh, sudhindra has a question uh, uh, please tell us an affordable payment gateway cc avenue and ebs uh, cc avenue and ebs are two options sudhindra uh, there are other uh, payment gateways for example as i told you about ghar pe uh, ghar pe itself is uh, uh, an uh, bits pilani venture uh, alumni so you could use ghar pe uh, Uh, they could help you from a cash on delivery kind of a business model they have got offline payment collection uh, there are various other uh, channels of making uh, collections and payments uh, for example suvidha m commerce is there which helps you collect payments uh, its cash is there which helps you collect payments uh, nokia mobile money has also a new service which has been launched by nokia um, Uh, on the online payment gateways most of the banks provide uh, direct payment gateway integration which are cheaper compared to uh, any payment aggregators like a cc avenue or ebs but they definitely not cover 100% of the market they would cover 70 80% of the total market available bill desk is another uh, uh, payment gateway which you could use for your websites okay uh, Raja is unable to speak. Uh, Raja, you wanted to know whether you have a video of this session as I joined. Uh, Raja, you can access the videos uh, through the website. Uh, the webinars will be available after this session is over. Uh, Nitish has a question: uh, Planning to start a portal regarding information transfer in better ways. How to go with it? Nitish, as we just gave you an example, IndiaMart.com is a information. a uh, website which connects the buyers to the suppliers you need to understand if you are planning a something like a just dial or a click india for example a click india.com where you can put in your information and other people can access that information so <coughs> try to visit these websites uh, uh, every day if you visit for 5 minutes in a week you will be able to learn uh, what are the various ways in which they have developed their technology you could connect with them uh, he is my friend i'll be happy to connect you to the founder of click india pankaj uh, nishank has a question give some more information about search engine optimization so uh, just to give you a brief if you uh, do a google uh, search on search engine optimization you will get thousands of links and uh, ppts and pdfs uh, uh, search engine optimization means that you are optimizing your website for it to be able to show on the top 10 or being able to get uh, results on the google and the bing and the yahoo search engine so uh, uh, best ways for doing uh, search engine optimization is to uh, have a great content you could do keyword optimization there are other uh, basics also like link building if your website is being linked to other prominent websites then also you get a better page rank uh, there are other methods for example directory submissions are there there are a lot of uh, websites uh, which are directories of uh, uh, these uh, uh, the whole uh, uh, information of uh, internet so you can submit your information of the website on these directories and people can access them uh, the search engines can easily uh, index your website you could do google submission directly uh, so uh, there are various other things like meta tags uh, title uh, pages subtitles image indexing so you need to understand some of these basics and the rest you can go online to do more research on this uh, okay uh, i'll just take up uh, sudhindra mansu.com sure i will take a look at that uh, sudhindra i'll be happy to uh, learn more from this uh, 
मोहित हैज अ क्वेश्चन शुड आई ऑफर फ्री सर्विसेज एंड अर्न थ्रू एडवर्टीजमेंट और फोकस ऑन चार्जिंग अ स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ सर्विस विच वुड बी बेटर फॉर अ पोर्टल सो मोहित देर आर वेरियस बिजनेस मॉडल्स विच आर बेस्ड ऑन फ्री Uh, for example google.com is absolutely free for the customers and paid by the advertisers there are various mid models which are absolutely paid and nothing is free uh, and then there are freemium business models where some part is free and some part is paid uh, so i would suggest uh, try to uh, talk to your consumers are they ready to pay talk to your advertisers are they ready to pay because advertising based business models would work if you have a very very niche audience or a very very large audience so when i say niche it could be all the ceos of indian companies in the manufacturing set sector or all the mba students who are in their second year so a niche audience has got value or a large audience and when i say a large audience it does not mean 100 200 people coming to your website i mean lakhs and lakhs of people at least a lakh where you can earn a meaningful amount of click through rates and per click rate from the customers okay so that is where advertisers will really value you and listen to what you have on offer okay there is another question nitish you are planning to dedicate totally to education sector great nitish you can go ahead uh, mohit how does a social media website penetrate and earn profit and how should one go about it so mohit uh, facebook for example which is the most common i would take here is there are couple of business models so one business model is they earn by advertising so all the ads that you see on the right hand side for example this is the web page which is being shown to you right now so there are various ads you can see sponsored create an ad so this trade diva ad is sponsored paper boats ad is sponsored so these are all sponsored ads and paid by the people who are advertising to us as customers okay this is one way in which facebook makes money the other way in which facebook makes money is by selling micro credits for example if you go and use uh, games like a farm villa uh, mafia wars or any other popular applications you have to buy something for example you buy a house or land or something to eat or some uh, thing so whatever games you play you uh, buy something you pay for it through micro credits which could be $1 $10 $20 $100 depending on what stuff you are buying whether it is virtual goods or it is real goods so you are paying for that this is how a social media website also makes money by selling virtual goods and also selling advertising okay so next question saurabh has a question uh, uh, you wanted to know this online website like flipkart they have their own inventories for all stock they are showing on their site or they just provide mean through which normal retailer can sell online so saurabh uh, flipkart does not have its own inventory uh, they have got a back to back tie up with other uh, people where they say that within certain time frame uh, they will be able to deliver it uh, however for uh, advanced cases where they have for example uh, they know that uh, there is 90% uh, fulfillment can happen for 10% of products then they keep them in inventory for example uh, there is a latest novel by a chetan bhagat so they would rather keep them in inventory and they know the credit terms are either 30 days or 15 days and in that time period they will be able to sell all the stocks and they would not have any uh, open inventory left to be cleared off so uh, most of the websites uh, like a flipkart they have their own uh, Uh, uh ways of uh, 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 the delivery part of it uh, but they depend on the manufacturer uh, for keeping the inventory um, however uh, in the latest plans that flipkart has got with the funding that they have raised they are planning to set up their own warehouses and do their own inventory management they will buy up front at uh, huge discounts the product from the manufacturers and they will store it in their own Uh, warehouses and go downs and so that this will improve uh, the quality of delivery and the time taken for delivering the product to the consumers uh, there are other business models for example uh, 
Times of India has got a web store. So you set up your own website on Times of India and you sell your own products and Times of India will charge a commission. Infibeam also for example has got another business model where you can use any existing products on their own catalogs. Infibeam has got a huge catalog of products. You can use any of those available products and sell it in your name as a website or you could put your own products using Infibeam's technology platform and website. You can upload your photographs. The product you will keep and you can use their uh, platform to sell it to the customers. So there are various business models. Some people keep their own inventory. Some people have a back-to-back -back arrangement with the suppliers and some people actually buy the inventory and sell it to the customers. So every uh, business model has got its own risk as well as the benefits. Aditya has a question, are there any norms and legalities to be taken care while set, starting an e-commerce website? Does it require any registration? Aditya, yes, like every other business, website business also requires registration. You need to take, uh, wherever you are doing the business from, you need to have a shops and establishment certificate uh, and uh, uh, you also need to, depending on the type of business, you could start in your personal name, getting a website, you can pay by your own credit card. You can start in your personal name also, Aditya Shah Private Limited or Adi only Aditya Shah. People can pay Aditya Shah in his own name and people can get services from Aditya. Um, the other ways in which you can do it is set up a proprietorship where 100% it is your own company. It could be as a private limited where you can have one more director and the company can have maximum 50 shareholders. So uh, the legalities uh, part of it, this is what it covers. If you are selling a service, then you have to pay service tax. If you are selling a product, then you have to pay value added tax. So these are some of the other legalities which are there. Raja has added further, Raja thanks for adding that, uh, uh, that trademark registration is also very important to protect your brand. So uh, you can also check out uh, Raja's website trademarksguru.com. So Raja, very nice way uh, that you have highlighted that trademark is another uh, legal registration which is uh, helpful for all the website owners and people who want to start their ventures. Uh, Raja has given another suggestion. Uh, you can check out billpay.com, uh, uh, which is a website to help you for the online payment gateways and collections. Uh, Divya had a question starting a new website offering physical product and ads on the product. My God, am I speaking too fast? There are a lot of questions coming up from the audience. Uh, should I charge on the products or should I go with ads? Uh, Divya, this is a very, very uh, um, generic question. Uh, I will not be able to say should you do this or should you do that. Uh, should you sell only product or should you give only website uh, ads uh, through your venture. I would suggest uh, try a combination. Uh, for 100 people you give only websites and for 100 people you sell only products and you will be able to make a choice. You could also do a combination of both of them. In early stage of a venture Personally, I feel that there is not too much of a choice or a focus that we can have. Uh, uh, it is always good to have a lot of trials done, a lot of uh, errors to be made and understand how the models work. So uh, for some time you can provide products, some time you can provide service, uh, some time you can do a combination of advertising, sponsorship, lead generation and see which one is most acceptable to your customers and really is addressing a pain that they are happy to pay for to get rid of. Uh, Ghansham has got a question. Please suggest a new model for providing online marketplace which I can work upon. Uh, Ghansham, I cannot suggest a new model that you can work upon. Uh, uh, you need to come out with your own ideas. I cannot give you ideas of what business to start in. I can help you by providing the right kind of information as we have done today on how you can go about it and what are the checklists that you need to be careful about or taking care of. So, But I cannot tell you that you should start a India Mart types of business or you should start a Flipkart version 2 or something. Uh, please come out with your own ideas and take it to the customers. They should be the ones who decide what business you want to or you can do. 
Okay, great. Uh, so I think uh, we have exhausted a uh, lot of questions. Uh, Divya, you have come back. So Divya, I just informed you that it was a very generic query that you had. If you have any specific questions, you feel free to write to me at amit.grover at nurturetalent.com or you can call me on my number. Uh, you can visit on our website. So I wish all of you, uh, I hope you had uh, some learnings and some takeaways from this session uh, and put things into action. Um, for all of you who have joined me, I will wait for another 60 seconds. If there are any further queries, I will be happy to address them. If any of the questions is unanswered, feel free to uh, speak or uh, type in your queries. Yes. Ghansham has a question. Ghansham, would you like to speak in your query? I have unmuted you. Okay, Ghansham doesn't want to speak to me. Okay, Dipen, I will take last question from Dipen Shah. Dipen has a question. I want to know total cost to make a website with monthly charges included. So, uh, <clears throat> Dipen, uh, the charges as I, I just show you on the slide. So, these are the charges that are required. As I said, you need to take the company name. So, it can range from 500 onwards to any number which you can imagine. For a complex name like cricket.com or business.com, it can be a million dollar, five million, ten million dollar also. Uh, you need to buy a hosting package which again depending on the type of company you want to build uh, or if you want to build uh, a very very highly transaction oriented and you are getting million users a month or million users a day you need to have a very high hosting requirement it can run into lakhs and crores the next stage could be uh, technology if you are getting paid uh, things then it can be hundred dollar or five thousand dollar or a pay per use basis or it can be open source like a Linux and uh, MySQL servers and uh, Apache Tomcat servers uh, then the next level is you need to invest in the development which is the website development uh, and integration with payment gateways. Uh, the payment gateway cost is anywhere from 10,000 onwards and plus 2-3% transaction cost. Uh, uh, then the next level is the marketing. So depending on the type of company as again I said, uh, go to the basics, try to understand how much your customers will uh, come and how many customers will come, how much it will cost to spread the word. Uh, there are a lot of free online tools available if you uh, go to the Google and search for Amit Grover free PR websites you will find a list of a lot of PR websites which are free to do transaction upon. Okay, Google search engine uh, there is no charge for putting a Google search engine tab on your website. Okay, uh, Raja has a question. How do we make the press talk about our business? I understand we use PR, but can you give stress as to how the PR works and the cost involved? So Raja, there are two ways. One is you can make friends with a lot of uh, uh, journalists. Uh, most of the uh, uh, journalists are also looking for exciting stories, new stories. You can write to them, find out their contact details. Every article nowadays is usually online. So you can write to them in their email ID. You can find out their contacts and uh, there are a lot of websites where they visit. Uh, so try to be on their forums and interact with them. You could also use LinkedIn to connect with them. The best is to call them, let them know that you are launching a new service or uh, launching something which is important and relevant to them. And uh, the next step could be uh, 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 sending them uh, some kind of a mailer, a PR article every time you are launching something important and urgent. Uh, please understand that uh, what is urgent to you may not be urgent to the journalist. Uh, so uh, try to be in good books with them. It is not that immediately if you are doing something and the journalist rejects your article, then in the future, maybe three months, six months later, you also need to be friends with them. Uh, at a later stage when they need something from your side, you could give your 
suggestions. Another way in which PR works is you also need to create a pull. So you can write a lot of articles, for example, trademark related articles on various websites. You can keep commenting on question and answer sessions on Quora.com or on LinkedIn question and answer discussions. You can take part and uh, people will find out about you and come to you. Okay, so that is one way. Um, the next thing that you could also try is through references. If you have any friends and they are ready to give references, that is another way to get things going. Okay, so great. All the best for your launch of the website. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll be happy to make introductions, Raja. Uh, Divya has a question. Can you uh, just discuss the ventures of social networking websites coming up now like SoCheers and many more based on ready platforms? from Joomla in business profitability. So uh, Divya, the social networking, uh, profitability of social networking websites is uh, still a very debatable topic. There are few websites which are highly popular and profitable as well. For example, LinkedIn is a profitable venture. Facebook is a profitable venture. They are growing like anything. And there are very, very heavily loss making. For example, Twitter is a very heavily loss making. Microsoft's MSN network is a very, very heavily loss making. Uh, uh, website uh, uh, so uh, this is a very highly debatable topic uh, you have examples all across uh, there are some very profitable and some very very loss making so uh, there is no ready uh, suggestion that I can give on which are the platforms which are profitable or not and what are the ways to get it done uh, Dipain has a question, uh, marketing via Facebook is a good idea to sell your website. Dipain, if you are looking at young audience, I will give you a very brief answer. If you are looking at a young audience, uh, typically uh, students 15 to 24, then Facebook is a very, very good platform to use. If you are looking at an old audience or a professional oriented audience, business oriented audience, then Facebook is not the first choice, it should be LinkedIn. Uh, so this is in a very very generic way I can tell you uh, if you are looking for a yes and a no kind of answer. So and marketing on Facebook there are various ways you can create your own Facebook uh, face uh, uh, the groups community uh, events various uh, transactions and interactions you can take place you can create your own applications on Facebook. So uh, Facebook marketing is a subject in itself. Uh, you can search on Google or various other website to understand more in detail about Facebook and social media marketing. Ghansham, I'll take this last question because we are running out of time and uh, uh, I don't want to keep other audience members waiting. Uh, so how much does it normally cost in case the development is outsourced considering a basic website to be developed and it is advisable to outsource the development. So Ghansham, uh, you must have seen a few ads uh, from Big Rock where they say 99 rupees for getting a basic website to be developed. So it can be 99 rupees as well. There are some offers which go up to 5000 uh, but typically on an average if you are looking at a static website with no transactions it could go from 5000 to 25000 that is the average I am speaking about if you are looking for payment gateway integration contact forms database integration then it can run into 50000 to a lakh or even more depending on the complexity. Nitish has a question. Uh, I asked uh, what point could I exactly start for an educational information transfer portal. Nitish, uh, first you try to communicate your question in an easy uh, language. I could not understand. At what point could I exactly start for an educational information transfer portal? Nitish, uh, try to collect information about uh, the educational uh, portals that you are having. Uh, uh, try to get the offline information first and then see how you can uh, develop a platform and populate that platform with the information that you want to get into. So uh, you need to f see, try to understand. You first make a shop and then you put products inside that shop and then customers will start coming to that shop. So if this is what happens offline, then the similar thing happens online where you first create a platform, a technology or a website, then start putting information on that website and then start marketing it. So, okay, so this process then once it starts, then it can be repeatedly used and further you can enhance the quality of your business as well as your venture. So with that I think we come to the end of the session. I hope all of you uh, got some learnings from this uh, session. Uh, uh, so uh, 
so more questions if we have i have already shared my uh, details i will not be able to take more questions from the audience today uh, thanks for joining all of you uh, this is amit grover founder of nurture talent academy i hope all of you will create uh, great ventures in the future uh, this is uh, uh, my best wish to all of you uh, let thousand ventures come out of nurture talent academy and we create 20000 jobs uh, all the best to you guys have a great night uh, good night to all of you thanks for joining me today uh, have a great journey ahead as an entrepreneur